ladies and gentlemen. All righty, let's go in this reading and see what is coming out. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this reading is going to be going from the 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> to the fourth, okay? So, all right, let's go in and see what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is going to be coming up for you guys. All right. Remember to like, share these videos. Aries, it's your birthday season. Enjoy. Enjoy. Go check out your um, your um, season's reading um, for you, Aries. Um, yeah, the season reading. Okay. All right, happy birthdays to everyone. Let's see what's coming up. The energy of the star. So you guys have the energy of the star. Wow. So congratulations, Aries, whatever that is happening and transpiring this year. When the energy of the star comes in, it's a whole lot of healing and a whole lot of successful event is going to be happening. So for the people who were born in this week, um, this week is from um, the um, 28th um 29 until the 4 29 until the 4th of april congratulations i love this for you guys the energy of the star look to the future with hope and optimism and the power of faith to remove mountains happy changes that brings relief from challenges time wow aries wonderful so aries if your birthday is uh on um this timeline we are going to be seeing what is going to be happening what is going to be transpiring oh i can see work if some of you were thinking about work or thinking about your project or business yes 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 work is going to be coming up all right whole lot of work whole lot of business is going to be coming up for you aries okay so wonderful alignment of energy so let's um go in and we're going to be seeing what is coming out um for you guys <clears throat> so um we're looking at the 29th um today is the uh, 26 27 28 yes so 29 until the fourth so for the people um your year for the 29 you're dealing with art art or in figures whoever these people are whatever is transpiring you're having um, some sort of a situation with arterian figures. We're going to be looking up to see what is coming up and transpiring. But this is a good energy. Um, this is your own energy, just so this is positive. As we identify what we're working with, what we're dealing with, and we are, will recognize what a year is going to be coming up. A lot of you could be also getting promotions, but you could be coming parents. A lot of you are going to be starting your business, that sort of a thing, and it is going to be good. Positive alignment of energy comes up when the air event is here. All right. Then we see, yes, the Kaiser. The Kaiser. So this is authoritarian. Then we see um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in from authoritarian. And I see an ending is going to be transparent. So what you have, eight of ones, eight of cups. So emotional situation, busyness. Some of you, it could be slowing down, especially if you're a business, it could be slowing down. But a lot of you, a whole lot of emotional situation that you are dealing with is going to be basically going away. 88 uh, signify the significance of uh, um, abundancy. So this is going to be wonderful. This is going to be good. So um, business wise, a lot of you could be making the right decision. Abundance, wealth, and prosperity is going to be coming in, and whatever that was transpiring, that was happening. The energy of the Eight of Cups is powerful because this energy of the Eight of Cups is meaning that you are leaving emotional situation that you are dealing with alter alter altering figures behind, and you're moving forward in a very very positive way. So this is really wonderful and positive. So congratulations again for the people who were born on the twenty nine. And that was having some sort of a problem with Artarian figure or, or being Artarian, um, you know, having power over you and that sort of a thing. And now it is going to be over because there we see the energy of this being over and you're moving forward. So 
emotional imbalance situation that was transpiring. Let it go. Uh, 88 is here. So, uh, um, you know, uh, in, in infinity abundance is going to be coming up. And this is going to be wonderful. So wonderful alignment of energy is going to be here for you guys. 88 is a symbol of infinity, but it's also the symbol of financial stability. This is your own energy vibration that is happening. And if you were having problems, conflicts, that sort of a thing, a whole lot of data, a whole lot of information, but this could be a situation where you're going to be receiving a lot of business and whatever the emotional problem is that was happening and transpiring, I see this is going to be over because people are going to be recognizing and seeing the truth of some sort of an unfavorable um a lot of you were very emotional, very emotion over a whole lot of problems and issues that was created. And a lot of you are walking away from your enemy or people that was really working against you for whatever the reason is that you have the energy of the star. So what we are recognizing is that a whole lot of things so you're going to be releasing and um, leaving behind you moving forward in a very, very positive way. OK, so. Um, a really positive year is a year of a, a transition. 88. Oh my God. This is so good. It's a year of transition for you guys. It's really a, a year where there's a whole lot of transition that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring in your world in a very positive way. So, um, that is going to be positive. So let's see if you can, um, see the cards. Okay. Ooh. All right. So let's see what else is coming out. We see emotions and this is where um, you're walking away and leaving a lot of emotional issues and problems behind you. You're just walking away, leaving these emotional situation behind you and taking a higher road, a higher ground because of what was happening and transpiring in your world. So this is going to be good. Um, so wonderful alignment of energies. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So let me pull this down so that you guys can see. So that is um, really going to be positive. Let's look at people who were born on the 30th of March. You have the energy of the magician. This is good. It's about manifestation. It's about manifesting what it is that you want. It's about you um, taking the reign over your life, picking up, standing up, taking the reign over your life, moving forward in an unconventional way and in a very positive way. It's, it's going to be a good year. So whatever question you have is a yes. Go for it. It's going to be a wonderful, positive year. The energy of the magician is about the manifestation and you're manifesting a whole lot of things because you have everything that you need to get um, what it is that you're trying to receive in your life and this energy is really powerful and a really wonderful energy because when you have this it's like yes it's yes it is time to do something yes it is time to move on yes um it is time for you to accept something all right a lot of you who were worried about uh, some sort of an issue with your child problems issue um this is going to be resolving if you had some sort of a relationship problems or problems with your sisters, brothers, sibling, um, people at the work floor, work floor, you're going to be overcoming this and um, resolving whatever conflicts you have with another person. You are going to be magically, happily releasing yourself from some sort of an unconventional situation with another person. Then we see the eight of uh, the ace of pentacles and this ace of pentacles is about some sort of a new start that is going to be coming in for you and a sister brother or uh, you and a friend. It can be you and a good friend that, um, you know, I've lost some sort of a connection, some sort of a um, con um problems that came up between you and your friends and that sort of a thing. But it's all about um your kids. So your friends, people who you're very close to, your sisters and brother, that sort of a thing. And there is definitely going to be some sort of a new start. If some of you were thinking about starting your home business, it is a yes, go ahead. Whatever you were thinking about to heal some sort of a problem with someone else, 
are starting a new business is a yes go right ahead it is going to be turning out well okay so when we have and yellow is going to be try and wear a lot of yellows um in this timeline all right there is uh, whatever the problem is some of you were having problems with your siblings uh, um, with your kids, uh, um, that sort of a thing. Whatever the problem is, uh, the problem is going to be resolved. And uh, um, this Ace of Pentacles is going to be returning balance. So if some of you, your kids is going to be repaying you or um, a friend is going to be repaying you, however this is happening and transpiring, expect to receive money in this year. It can be coming from business, but it can also be, be that someone is repaying you a lot of money. So changes is going to be coming up and congratulations. You have the energy of 17 again. So this is going to be a very lucky year for people who were born on the 30th of March. It's going to be a very extremely lucky because you have 17 as uh, the star, the energy that is guiding you and changes is going to be coming up for you and your child or you and your partner because you have overcome a situation that was transpiring whenever changes ha comes in some sort of an emotional problems and issue with dealing with a child or another person i see changes is coming in okay all right uh, so congratulations you have two and one the energy of the magician is one so you are working with the energy of one two and one okay number 17 is also here so use 17 the energy of 17 in order to incorporate in your world 17 as eight so some sort of a um unconventional instability is going to be coming up now congratulations to the people who were born um the um 31st of march um, the energy of the sun success for you in this year all right a huge success for you guys um, in this year whatever that was happening and transpiring this success is going to be coming out young people not but older people oh I yes okay whatever is happening and transpiring for young people there is going to be some sort of a problem something could be showing up in this year and uh, I see that some of you at hope for some sort of a good news to come in. Older people, yes. Younger people, no. Okay. So you overcome. Um, and this is going to be a year of overcoming things, overcoming problems, overcoming issues that was created. Being successfully, leaving issues and problems behind you and overcoming things. Okay. A young people, it's not going to be a good year for you, especially people between the age of 18 and 35 is not a good year because I cannot imagine a lot of you are leaving school or, you know, in jobs that you want to make some sort of a changes. But older people is going to be very, very positive for you guys. So the energy of the sun, um, some sort of a news is coming in that some of you are not going to be happy about. But yet still, things are going to be working out moving forward. And this is good. So you overcome some sort of a um issues that was transpiring and yet still the news is not good but you're happy that things as work out in a way that it has worked out so you can move forward so the energy of the sun with a star is going to be a, a really significant year some sort of a situation with a child for some of you is not going to be working out um you were hoping to like reconnect with a child that sort of a thing um you could be receiving some sort of a message okay some sort of a news that some of you were hoping for. I see um, for older people, the news is going to be good. But for younger people, it's not going to be good. Um, some sort of a secrecy is now out and people are recognizing something. Okay. So this energy, secrecy um, about a Virgo is going to be coming out. For some of you who are connected with a Virgo, some sort of a secrecy about a Virgo is going to be coming out and they're going to be recognizing um, some sort of a secrecy about a Virgo and a uh, Leo, a Virgo and a Leo. So some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a secrecy about a Virgo and Leo and uh, um, some sort of an issue, problem, or something that they got themselves involved with, okay? So, um... 
a whole lot of you secrecy about a leo is going to be coming out secrecy about a virgo is going to be out coming out if a leo and a virgo is together they're going to be recognizing because you successfully overcome some sort of a secrecy that a virgo and a leo was planning to do you definitely overcome this and you shed light on what was happening and transpiring so expect to deal with a young leo and a Virgo and it has to do with a whole lot of money so they're going to be recognizing something and it's going to be finding out what this person have done so it could be your child all right so um you're going to be finding out something if your child is a is a Leo some sort of information is going to be coming out about your child all right so you have the energy of the Sun 19 and then you have six and you have eight so a lot of your financial stability is as if the infinity in financial ability is definitely going to be coming up now happy all fools day it's your birthday and it's a year of going within and looking at things situation that was transpiring and was playing out in your life happy all school day um this is about the energy of uh, you going within um looking at you know replanning taking um some time to look at the lay of the land before you move forward so it's going to be a really peaceful restful year where you're not so out there as you always are because you're taking back and standing back and looking at what has transpired they're now going to be recognizing some sort of a false play that was transpiring and happening so truth is going to be coming out about some sort of a deceptive play um that was going on and I see you took it down. You definitely, definitely, definitely took it down. So this is a good, good play for all the people who were born on April 1st. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, there was some sort of a um, behind the scenes, some sort of a play, some something that was going on behind the scenes that you were not aware of. And all of a sudden, it is going to be clear to you as day. Um, and uh, people who were not aware of some sort of a unconventional situation that was transpiring. Um, I see clarity is going to be here because there was some sort of a deceptive play that was going on. And I see a lot of you stand your ground and took the situation down and end some sort of an unconventional play that was happening and transpiring because now people are recognizing um, that there was some sort of a foul play that was going on. And a lot of you are going to be in this year using the sword of truth to, to take down whatever the problem issue is. So now the worries is going to be over if some of you were worried this worries is now going to be over. A lot of a, a balance is going to be coming in your world where you're recognizing that uh, it is time to let go of the worries, okay? And uh, um, use the sword in order to cut away, um, you know, these, these things. Because a lot of people just worry, worry, um, worry for... And it's about you going within and recognizing some sort of a fall play that um, two people were um, doing some sort of a situation that was worked against you. And you're going to be um, taking back uh, your power, taking back your world, standing up, speaking up for yourself. This is about the year that you're standing up, speaking about yourself and showing up some sort of an unconventional play that was happening and transpiring and this is going to be good so it's about you really um really taking a lay of the land sitting back and looking at what has been happening and transpiring and taking a lay of the land and as you take a lay of the land you're going to be recognizing that um things and people around you was not as what you thought it was there was some sort of a deceptive play that was transpiring you guys have 12 and 3 7 and 5 12 3 7 and 5 let's see what is coming out as your little bonus um cha changes is going to be coming up and this is going to be good um it's as if uh, you are at a crossroad multiple opportunities multiple situation is going to be coming in your life where it's as if you're taking them down one by one because you recognize the foul play that people were creating and things that people tried to insist on you that you didn't need and they're going to be recognizing that there was a whole lot of foul play that was going on and they're going to be you know you you are other people are going to be coming together and take this down. So multiple, multiple 
um, problems is going to be coming up, but you're going to be able to cope and resolve all of this in this year because you're more going within. You're not just out there anymore. You're more going within and, and calculating and seeing how you're going to be balancing out a whole lot of problems and issues. So congratulations. So again, three, twelve, seven, five. you have major issues and problems coming up, but you'll be able to cope with them. All right, so happy birthday to the people who were born on April 2nd. Um, April 2nd, happy birthday to my, my cousin. Um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, enemies, a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies. Um, there is a lot of jealousy, but this is like enemies. These are really enemies that was lurking behind the scene. Um, a whole lot of enemies that some of you have because this is the energy of the moon and you know you have a lot of enemy but they and here is the conflicts you have a lot of enemy a lot of enemy and here is the conflicts a lot of you are going to be going up against a cancer and a leo whatever is happening and transpiring whoever this cancer and this leo is a lot of you are going to be going up against them because they're going to be recognizing something um, a lot of you are going to be having a whole lot of conflicts with people because of uh, jealousy. People are just really jealous and it's coming at you. And I see that a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds. You're going to be standing up to every conflict that comes to you and standing your grounds because you're going to be now recognizing that people have been really working against you. There is going to be a lot of worries for you guys because a lot of you are going to be thinking, oh my God, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough of this um, problem situation. And um, whatever these conflicts are and these worries are, it is as if you have to face your fears. It's a year that is going to be helping a lot of you to face your fears. And as you face your fears, you're going to be coming out of this year in a very, very positive way because you're facing your fears, standing your ground and recognizing some sort of a foul play that was happening and transpired and yet still um, standing up for yourself and it's about teaching you to stand up uh, for yourself and understanding who you are what's happening and where things are going to be moving forward and let go of the worries it's a year that is going to be teaching you you need to stand your grounds and leave the worries behind so something could be ending in this year the energy of the moon is is 18 18 um that is uh nine and then you have the, the nine of swords where a whole lot of worries because a whole lot of conflicts is going on around you worries 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 because a whole lot of conflicts is going on around you so i see the enemies um whatever is transpiring a lot of you have a whole lot of enemies um, so be aware of this, okay? And um, they're creating a whole lot of problems and chaos um, in your life and in your world. And you're going to be recognizing how totally, totally unfair um, some sort of a problem issues is coming up. And you're going to be recognizing how really unfair people are and what people are trying to create, but yet still you're going to be standing your ground. Your bonus card is that the worries is going to be over. Over. The worries is going to be over. A lot of you were worrying about money and that sort of a thing. The worries is going to be over. They are now recognizing and seeing that you had a lot of enemy that was working against you and playing against you. And what is now transpiring is that whoever these people and situation is and was, you're going to be facing them in this year and not backing down. And at the end of the year, you're going to be ending all the worries that you have um, that was coming at you. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, this seems to be a very, very good year for a lot of you. And um, why this is, is that a lot of you keep on getting the energy of eight. Okay, so it's uh, money worries for the people who were born on the second. A whole lot of money worries for people who were born on the second. They're recognizing it and they're seeing because your enemy had created a whole lot of problems. So we see twice nine, uh, 18, 
uh, seven, uh, five, and um, we see an end, an end to all the financial worries and burdens is going to be coming to an end. Some of you who had some sort of a problem with a Virgo, um, that is also going to be coming to an end. So that is good. All right, let's move on to the people who were born on um, the um, 3rd of April. Another cousin. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> All right, so I have two cousins that were born two different days, and my grandmother uh, died um, in this timeline too. So, um, balance a lot of you who were born on the 3rd of March, balance, 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 balance is going to be coming up. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of balance. A lot of you, some sort of an alien, if a lot of you weren't well and that sort of a thing your angels and guides is going to be protecting you through this year from this birthday 2021 into 2022 a whole lot of balance okay people are going to be coming in and working together with you to um reorganize your life but also if you're doing any sort of uh, um um apprenticeship and that sort of a thing it's going to be good all right so a lot of people are going to be wanting to collaborate with you a whole lot of balance is going to be coming in and a lot of people are going to be wanting to collaborate with you money could be also returning for a lot of you and a lot of you um who has been looking for um job business uh, um, to collaborate with other people. Yes, it's going to be happening, okay? And this is going to be a year where you do not have to worry about financial instability in your world because this is going to be good. You're going to be recognizing um, what is happening, what is transpiring, how to make extra money in your world, how to be financially stable. Um, some of you might have to be paying out but it's more of your working together with other people that is creating a whole lot of wealth for you. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So balance, when balance comes in, it's as if your angels and guides, you've been going through a whole lot. Your angels and guides are going to be sending in the right people in your world in order to balance out some sort of a problem that has been troublesome. Okay. So health wise, uh, people who were having some sort of a health situation i see that um you know some sort of a help or a new drug could be coming in um that and and um change your doctors and they're going to be finding some sort of a new way of helping you so this is a, um, really um going to be good so that is a wonderful um wonderful excitement there and the next energy um is the four of uh, um, pentacles and this energy of the four of pentacles is saying that by collaborating with other people you're going to be creating more wealth and stability for you okay so collaboration is the name of the game is the team of the game collaborate with other people as you collaborate with other people it is just going to be bringing out uh, um, a wonderful wonderful state of uh, a uh, connection that is going to be coming up where you are definitely definitely going to be um creating a whole lot of uh, new um possibilities for yourself but also having the faith um to recognize that you can make changes in your world and um by finding uh, the people the right people to collaborate with you're going to be seeing how um financially you are going to be stable, okay? So there we go. Um, the number 12 energy, the number 12 energy, a lot of communication about money, okay? So this like contracts, business, uh, a lot of communication, money is going to be coming in. Apprenticeship, a lot of you are going to be having new jobs, new um, ma ma manner of connecting. Um, some of you could be doing customer service job and making a lot of money. So this is going to be good. So we have the energy of uh, this 12 and it's all about conversation. It is going to be a year where a whole lot of conversation and some of you could be conversating in order to create your financial and stability and wealth. And this is going to be good. So um, um, expect some sort of a positive news is going to be coming in. This news is going to be showing up. Um, 
positive news about money is going to be happening for you guys in this year so that is good but positive communication anything to do with sales verbal um, work it's going to be good in this year all right let's look at the people who were born on the 4th of february you have the energy of the tower people who were born on the 4th of energy the, <laughs> february the energy of the tower so something is released you're being released from something whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring you're now being released from this thing the situation um, whatever this problem issues that was going on, you're now released. You're released from this situation and you're moving away. And I see a lot of money could be coming in for you. So if you were born on the 4th, the 4th of uh, um, April, you're going to be receiving a lot of money in this year by collaborating or working on some sort of a business project. A lot of money is going to be coming in. It's as if some of you, your financial um, flow was blocked and the blocks are going to be lifted in this year. So right after your birthday, going to your next birthday in 2022, your financial block is going to be lifted and a lot of uh, um, business is going to be coming in a lot of money is going to be coming in money could be coming back but it's more of you collaborating with others in order to create a, 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 a financial stability for your family is going to be coming in so whatever that was blocking the financial flow is going to be lifted because um, this block is now going to be lifted and people are going to be recognizing um, where it is, what it is that I need to do. And by collaborating with other people, I see you're going to be creating financial stability for your, your world. And you're going to be very, very successful. Success is the name of the game in this year for you guys. So people who were born on the 4th of... Uh, my cousin is born on the 4th. Ah, uh, so, well, it's about time, girlfriend. All right, um, you've always been working so hard, so you might just win the lottery. So ladies and gentlemen who were born on the 4th of April, you might just win the lottery in this year because a lot of money, the 10 of pentacles is here. And it's as if some of you, your financial flow was blocked and the energy of the 10 of pentacles, you're very victoriously overcoming some sort of a problem issues that was created. And you're going to be very, very successful in overcoming what came your way, okay? And I see someone was trying to block um, um, money um, for you guys or money. Um, it was as if, uh, you know, you were, you were okay, but yet still, you know, it, it wasn't flowing like it should flow. And it is finally, finally what was blocking. So congratulations again, people who are born on the fear of 4th of April. This is going to be good. This is going to be fantastic. You're going to be recognizing the flow of financial flow in your life. And you're going to be happily successful. It's going to be a very, very happy year because it's as if a lot of you were connected or a lot of you, a whole lot of stuff was going on in your world that was creating problems and you're happily going to be moving out of this. For So for some of you, a whole lot of money, for some of you, you're going to be successfully released from some sort of a energy that was, you know, holding I and mean, holding you down. You're going to be successfully overcoming this and finally releasing yourself from some sort of an unconventional situation. So ladies, 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 so um, my cousin, ooh, ladies, ladies, you are going to be successfully overcoming a whole lot of problems and money is going to start flowing into you, okay? Whatever that was happening and transpiring, especially for you ladies, it is going to be a good year. Money is going to be coming in. Money is going to start flowing. A lot of people are going to be happy. A lot of people are going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring. And a lot of you ladies are going to be happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy. So, um, Aries, this is a beautiful, beautiful. Um, go and check out your seasons reading, okay? Um, go check out your season reading because it is very important. You will get also um, an additional information. All right. So let's look and see what is the center. 
deceptiveness, some sort of a deceptiveness. So some sort of a, uh, someone was trying to create some sort of a deceptiveness. So let's look at a cross. So the truth is going to be coming out over some sort of a deceptiveness. There was multiple deceptive play that was on the hon. And news, a lot of you who, um, or some of you might lose contact with someone, okay? And this could be uh, a child or a friend, uh, but it, it, it's deceptive. They, 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 they have done something deceptive in the past. And this is the reason why you're going to be losing contact with them. Uh, conflicts, a whole lot of conflicts. Uh, but I see with this conflicts, a whole lot of you are going to be collaborating in order to create uh, a whole lot of financial stability for yourself. And this is going to be good and, you know, really positive, uh, aligned um, on a very positive note, what is going to be transpiring and happening. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So, so um, then we are looking at news. Um, some of you were waiting for some sort of a news from your child or a family member. It's not coming in. A whole lot of emotional um, changes are coming. A whole lot of emotional situation. A lot of you are going to be walking away from. I see a lot of you who um, or was dealing with some sort of a power struggle. Um, you're going to be successfully overcoming this. So I see that a cancer. Um, some of you are going to be dealing with a cancer and a cancer is not going to be getting any good news. A cancer is going to, they're going to be recognizing what a cancer have done. A lot of you are walking away from relationships, relationship, not marriage, relationship. So be aware of that. Then we recognize that some sort of information is going to be coming out why there was some sort of a huge conflict. A lot of you are going to be having to deal with a lot of conflicts, but yet still you're going to be standing your, your grounds because you recognize that there was some sort of a secrecy and you're going to be successfully overcoming this and successfully overcoming your enemy. The virus is going to be finally over for some of you. And I see um, some sort of a, this honesty that was going on is going to come to an end, okay? So you can see the seven, a lot of you are going to be having to deal with some sort of a dishonesty that was transpiring around you. People are going to be recognizing what was going on. Then I see conflicts is over. A lot of you are balancing out yourself and bringing back your financial stability and money is going to be coming in and a whole lot of money. Anyone who is doing sales job, customer service and that sort of a thing. I see you're going to be doing well. I see the worries is going to be over. So it's like some of you are looking for a job for a very long time. Do customer service or a sales job because this is going to be good. Your enemies, a towel moment is coming down on your enemies. Whoever um, that was working against you, some creating some sort of an issue working against you, a towel moment is down for these people. And I see... Um, that you're going to be successfully overcoming, especially women that was women 50 years and older that was dealing with some sort of a inconsistency problem at the workplace, that sort of a thing. Um, you're going to be bringing it down and you're going to be recognizing and bringing back um, stability in your world because you're going to be showing up um, and working together and being a team player. And by doing that, you are going to be really uh, stable um, in whatever endeavor that you take on. So um, this is going to be a beautiful year. Remember, you have the energy of uh, the star, and this is good. So this year for you guys is the energy of the star. Remember to come back because each and every um, we person is going to be going through all the actions that is coming up. So if you were born on um, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, the 2nd of April, you begin um, working on things with your enemy, then balance come in, then the tower moment comes down, then you go to dealing with people in authority, your boss, then you decide to work with, work out relationship with your kids, uh, your family, your friends, your sisters, that sort of a thing. So th that's how we work. Uh, 
because it's um it's an accumulation and it's a cycle and it's a soul a year so a lot of you each and every person is going to be dealing with each and every momental timeline in this reading and that's how it's going to affect you so congratulations again you have the energy of the star i want to wish you a very wonderful birthday and solar year i do love you guys namaste until next time